One of the most wonderful things about living where I do in Melbourne is stepping out of my house at dusk to find the sky black with flying foxes, engaged in their nightly expeditions in search of food. These amazing animals, technically speaking, they're known as megabats, seem at odds with the inner city, but as their natural habitats are lost to human impact, they're drawn to the parks and gardens. Like many of the creatures referenced in this show, bats are pollinators, vital links in the chain of fertility that links animals and plants. Aesthetically and symbolically, bats are amazing to me, and I'm always struck by their camps, which is what they're called in the daytime. I wanted to make a work that referenced them and their dark, glossy angles, bones and skin. This work also nods to another of my interests, fungi. I could talk for hours about fungi, but it's worth mentioning that fungi too occupy this largely unheralded but vital position in the web of life. Nestled within the grotto are a series of three small figures, which I call the eagle eggmen. These strange little guys are something of a reference to Charles Le Brun, the 17th century French architect and artist, who towards the end of his life produced a series of etchings blending human and animal forms. I've always loved these images, which are almost but not quite convincing, and they were the jumping off point for these figures. The eagle egg men have similarly blended but essentially human faces, but beneath their aquiline faces their bodies begin to morph and distort, defying the rules of physiognomy without actually throwing them away. Each figure cradles a little pouch full of eggs, suggesting that they have some sort of role to play in husbanding the eggs. They are the masculine presence in the reproductive world. <laughs> 